Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to give you an overview on a new feature in Google Forms that allows you to save your progress while you're completing a form in case you have to walk away or you need to revisit it later so that you can pick up right where you left off instead of starting over again. So I will preface this by saying this feature is in beta mode right now. And if you're ever trying to use this feature on like a personal Google account, it's not rolled out to just any Google account at the moment. We have it available just through our BCSC Google accounts right now. So all of our staff and students have access to this and it's in a trial period through now, through all the way through the fall. And then in the winter is when they're thinking of implementing the official version for all users of Google. So the benefits of this is that if you've ever used a Google form before, maybe, it, and it requires quite a bit of information for the person to input, or you've been taking and responding to a form yourself that requires paragraphs of text, and you run out of time, maybe you lose internet connection, or you just need to go and come back later, that it doesn't save your work. You lose all of your progress unless you submit the form and have the ability to go back and edit it later, or you just have to type it all out onto a Google Doc and paste it into the form because it doesn't save your responses. So this has been a pretty highly requested item from teachers to Google asking, can we have some type of feature here where it saves progress? Because inevitably, these students might have to go, maybe class is ending, or they need more time to gather their thoughts, or maybe they have unreliable internet access and they need a point that saves their work without having them start over all over again. So what this feature does is it automatically signs you in to your Google account and it saves your progress so that when you visit this link again, this form specifically, it will remember your responses. So I'm just going to sample that right now. So this is actually a form that I made and it's just a couple of questions here. So what I'm going to do is just open this in a new tab so I can demo it for you. And this is turned on to everyone in BCS see this feature. So you shouldn't have to worry about clicking any buttons in your side of things to get this going. It is something that's already turned on for you. So I'm gonna grab my link here as if I'm someone taking this form myself. Now that I have this open, you're gonna see something now that this feature is turned on. It's the very top of the form. So at the top of the form, it's gonna say that your account is signed in, all right? It's going to tell you here that it's not collecting your name and email as a part of your responses. So whoever is the owner of this form will not see that I entered the answers that I did on the spreadsheet. They don't have that turned on. This is just tying it to your Google account so it remembers your responses. All right, now if they have it turned on to where it does collect your email and tie it to your responses, it won't have this little cross out thing here. It will tell you that it's collecting your name and your email and the owner of the form will see that, okay? You can also switch your account if you need to if it pulls up the wrong one, but remember this is just on your BCS account right now. And then this here just tells you that it's going to save your progress for 30 days. So you can work across devices if you need to, as long as you're signed in with your Google account and you revisit this. Okay, all right, so I'm just gonna start here and just say, So let's say I need to go and I don't have time to answer this second question. So what I'm going to do is just leave this form, right? I'm gonna remember this link here at the top. I'm just gonna leave and I'm gonna come back later, okay? So coming back to this form, I revisit it maybe through my browsing history or somewhere else. If you notice, it saved my responses here right where I was and it told me that the draft has been restored. And if I edit this again and then have to leave, it's going to keep saving that. And this little notification here is telling you that it's saving your progress as you go. So that's this new feature. Thought it'd be helpful to point that out. I know a lot of you like to use Google Forms for assessments with your students and getting feedback from them. So this is a great way for you to kind of help your students know that their work won't be lost if they have to close their computer or go somewhere else during the day if they don't have time to finish. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks.